All right, guys, today we're gonna be doing another huge Vancouver Canucks top prospect update. And since the last video, there's actually been a lot of massive updates within the Vancouver Canucks prospect system because at the time, when I first filmed that video, a handful of players only either played a, a handful of games or they actually didn't start their seasons whatsoever. So within this video, we're gonna see a, a lot of development within our prospect system. So buckle up. And we will start with the Canucks super sweet prospect, Niels Hoglander. And I actually saw a couple comments from some Swedish people and it said in Sweden, it's actually pronounced Hooglander. So I guess, Keep that in mind. <laughs> and right after I posted that first video, Niels Hoglander, of course, did the nasty Michigan goal. And of course, I'll put a gif right here. And it's, it's basically when you're behind the net, you scoop the puck up, you chip it in top right corner on, on the unsuspecting goalie. Hoglander has five goals, six points, and 16 SHL games. And this may not seem too, too impressive when you compare it to, you know, Canadian junior leagues. But keep in mind, the SHL is a men's league. It's considered the third ranked league in the whole world, and it's a low scoring league. So, you know, Niels Hoglander's five goals in 16 games is very, impressive from an 18 year old. In my last video a lot of people didn't love my comparison to like Brad Marchand as in a smaller framed you know gritty player and a lot of people insisted they that, that Hoglander was closer to a guy like Brandon Gallagher and you know what I definitely do agree with that smaller framed extremely athletic you know dynamic skating gritty winger I can't wait to see him in a Canucks uniform. Next prospect the fifth overall pick from the 2016 NHL draft Oli Ulevi. Yulevi has been playing on a very great Utica Comets roster, and he started the season really well, but his production has definitely started to trail off. He currently has 5 points in 14 games, however, the injury bug has struck Yulevi once again. And he's currently out with a lower body injury with no estimated timeline. There is good news though, it's unrelated to his knee injury that he sustained last year, which was that season ending knee injury. With Ole Ulevi, I kind of feel like a broken record at this point, um, but defensemen, they don't develop the same way as forwards, and a lot of defensemen, they have their own development path completely unique to themselves. We have been seeing a lot of development within Ulevi. You know, he went to Liga, he had a good production there. Last year, he started really well for the comments. This year, he started really good. But we definitely do need to start seeing some big development here from Ulevi. Hopefully, he comes back to Utica and picks up kind of where he left off. You know, I, I've been seeing him play this year. He looks great. You know what? He's smooth skating, elite vision, and a good passer. And he also has really good size. So he could definitely develop into a top four defenseman. Again, I make the comparison to a guy like Alex Edler, perhaps maybe a bit more upside. But if we can get another Alex Edler within our roster from Oyo Levy, it's not the worst thing. Next prospect, Cole Lind. Lynn was a high second round pick from the Pedersen draft in 2017, and Lynn has been performing really well so far with the Comets. He currently has 14 points in 19 games, three points shy of his 17 point total from last year. So, you know what? A lot of people assumed that Lynn was gonna have his breakout year this season, and so far, it's looking exactly like that. Great progress has been made with Lind. You know what? I really see top six upside here. He has a great wrister. He has good vision, great passing. And overall, we're seeing some great, significant development from Cole Lind, and you'll love to see it. Next prospect, also in Utica. He was also a second round pick from the 2017 draft, right after Cole Lind, Yona Gadjevic. In the first update, Gadjevic had one goal in the three games he played, and then he got injured. Um, but since then, he just returned just recently, I think in the past couple weeks, and he's put up three points in the past two games. Yona Gadjevic plays that really hard, you know, strong puck battling game. He has that goal scoring power forward upside and hopefully he can sustain some type of production here. Last season, Yona Gadjevic had 10 points at 41 games. And so far, you know, four points in five games is really great. And we'd love to see some more continued production from Yona Gadjevic because, you know, having that strong, gritty guy, someone like Josh Levo, kind of, Jordan Gadjevic definitely does remind me of a guy like Josh Levo, hopefully with a bit more upside. And having those strong, gritty players are definitely a great thing, especially in this modern game. And Jordan Gadjevic is exactly that guy. Next prospect, also from Utica, everyone's favorite, Mikey DiPietro, a third round pick from 2017. Mikey started the season very strong in Utica, and he's continued this fantastic goaltending in the AHL. In his 10 games so far this season, he's put up about 2.26 goals against average and a 9.23 save percentage, which is fantastic numbers from a 20 year old goaltender within the AHL. So hopefully, he keeps developing. You know, I, I don't think we see him in the NHL next year, maybe this year, another year, and then and then maybe he starts to get some starts within the NHL, but but overall, I'm really happy with DPHO's progress so far this season. He's been looking super, super impressive. 
The next prospect, Brogan Rafferty. Rafferty was the NCAA signing made at the tail end of last season. And so far this season, he has transitioned very well within the comments with 11 points and 19 games as a defenseman. Really good production. You know, he's, I think, 24 now. 23-24. Brogan Rafferty definitely isn't going to have that, you know, high-end top two defenseman upside. But he definitely could eventually transition into like a top, you know, at least a top six top four role within Vancouver and it's definitely always good to have some guys like this in our system that can come up and you know fill in those holes. Next prospect our Russian superstar Vasily Podkolzin. Pods of course was the Canucks 10th overall pick from the 2019 NHL draft and Podkolzin again you know kind of the same story as the last video he's, he's definitely been bouncing around from from various Russian leagues from you know ranging from the KHL which is like a comparable to the NHL to the MHL which is a comparable to like the WHL. So he's been bouncing around from junior, from the NHL, and then the VHL, which is, which is a comparable to the AHL. So it's, it's still definitely not a great look. However, recently he has been sticking, playing more minutes within the VHL, which which again is like our AHL system. So I, I hope he, you know, plays more consistent minutes there. Recently, however, he did participate in the Russian versus CHL series. Um, I caught around three out of the six games uh, where I got to watch Park Holes and play. And overall, I was impressed. You know what? He only put up one point in those six games, but he definitely had a lot of great looks. He really displayed his strength, his playmaking ability, and his kind of his power forward skill trait. In the VHL this season, he's put up eight points in 13 games, which is definitely very respectable. He has zero points in 12 KHL games, which does sound pretty bad, but keep in mind though, Paul Colson was playing, you know, less than like four minutes per game. Some games he played like less than two minutes, so definitely does not really tell the whole story here. I just hope that, you know, Paul Colson stays within the VHL, stays within a league, he can play against good competition and play some meaningful minutes where we can see some good development and then hopefully next season he gets more minutes within the KHL or, or if not, he can come play in our AHL squad. Next prospect, another Russian, Nikita Tryramkin. So a lot of you guys were asking for an update on him, so why not? Tryramkin was, of course, a third round pick from the 2014 NHL Draft. He's currently playing in the KHL. He has five points and 26 games. He's a defenseman though, keep that in mind. And as of right now, if Nikita Tyramkin did return to Vancouver, many scouts believe he'd definitely fit in as a good role, kind of like a Jordy Benner role. A, a reliable, you know, bottom pairing defenseman who has potentially some top four upside. You know, having a smooth skating six foot seven defenseman potentially paired with a six foot eight Tyler Myers would just be so fun to watch as a fan. But you know what? I don't really want to get my hopes up. Um, the future is still definitely uncertain. What do you guys think about Tyramkin? Next prospect, Jack Rathbone. Rathbone is an extremely intriguing prospect. Drafted in the fourth round of the 2017 NHL Draft, Rathbone has transitioned very well into the NCAA as that offensive defenseman. Um, in the last video, you know, I kind of mentioned how you know he was playing alongside of Adam Fox. And if you guys don't know Adam Fox, he's a really dynamic offensive defenseman who's currently playing for the New York Rangers. And many people kind of believe that his points were being inflated because he was playing alongside of a, a really great talent in Fox. However, in his first season playing with Elf Fox in Harvard, Rathbone has put up seven points in his first six games, really successfully taking over the blue line from Adam Fox. However, don't get your hopes up because Rathbone is playing in the NCAA and there could be some concern that he actually wants to sign with Vancouver, but let's hope he does and let's hope he continues his great development. Next prospect, Tyler Madden. Madden was of course a third round pick from the 2018 NHL Draft and since my last video, I'm very happy to say is that Madden has just absolutely exploded offensively. Madden now has 11 goals, 19 points, and 14 NCAA games, which is just fantastic. 11 goals and 14 NCAA games, like that's just crazy. And if Madden keeps up this production, expect him to be in Hobie Baker talk. He's also gonna be a major piece of the US World Juniors team as he played last year and had a big role then. So it's gonna be fun to watch him play in the World Juniors this upcoming season. And we're actually gonna see a lot of prospects there. So that's gonna be a lot of fun to see. See some guys like Paul Colson um, on North American ice because we rarely see that. Next prospect, William Lockwood, a third round pick from 2016. Lockwood is now the captain of the Quinn Hughes University of Michigan team. However, his totals have been very underwhelming so far this season with four points in 11 games. Let's hope he turns it up. Next prospect, Jet Wu, a second round pick from the 2018 NHL Draft. Wu this season has 13 points in 22 games. He's definitely been embracing more of that leadership role. And hopefully we can see him playing for Team Canada this year within the World Juniors. And maybe next year we see him in Utica. Keep in mind though, you know, Jet Wu was over a point per game last year, but he was... 
He's playing for the Moose Jaw Warriors and he just got traded to Calgary, so he's been making that transition. Um, his point production has been getting better, so it's hopefully, you know, it's hopefully that he d develops that more defensive side and, I guess, leadership role, which is exactly what he's been doing. And I'm happy with his development. Next prospect, Linus Carlson. Linus Carlson. Carlson, who we received in return for Jonathan Dahlin, who's a third-round pick from 2018. Um, his production has been improving in a Spence game. He has now has 11 points in 23 games. Um, not amazing, but definitely not terrible. He's definitely doing a lot better than our last update. Next prospect, Carson Fulch. I'm not sure if that's exactly how to pronounce it. A fifth-round pick from 2019. Playing alongside of Wu in Calgary, Boch now has 21 points and 19 games so far this season, so great progress there. Last prospect, and probably the most requested prospect from last video, Petrus Palmu, a sixth round pick from the 2017 NHL Draft. Palmu is a very undersized goal scoring winger from Finland. He didn't transition very well into the AHL last season, resulting in him going back to Liga. And Petrus Palmu has been playing really well in Liga this season with 18 points and 14 games. So hopefully he gives, you know, Utica one more shot if he doesn't make the NHL next season. Him and Jordan Gajevic, fun fact, are actually best friends. So there's definitely is, still is that connection as they played with each other in the OHL. So hopefully, you know what, Palmu keeps developing this well in Liga, putting up this great point totals and we see him in North America once again. Alright guys, there is my month overview of all the Canucks top prospects. For the future, I think I'll be doing these videos around within a month apart, maybe a little more, maybe a little bit less, because I think around a month gives us a good, a good timeline where we can see some good development out, out of our prospects, where, you know, if, if I do them too close together, you know, we don't see too much development where I kind of want to do more overview videos. But what do you guys think? But overall though, we're seeing some fantastic development from a lot of our top prospects. Jack Rathbone and Madden are definitely, I'd say, the ones that are sticking out the most from this, from last video to this video. Goaltending is doing really well and Cole Lind. We're starting to see a lot of development taking place from all areas of our prospect pipeline, which is very exciting because hopefully within the next couple of years, we see some more later round, you know, draft pick talent making the jump into the NHL. And so hopefully we see a lot of our talent playing within the World Juniors this upcoming season. So that's very excited. Who are you guys most excited for? Still, I'm still, of course, on the hog gunner train. Um, and Tyler Madden has definitely really piqued my interest. But what do you guys think? Who are you most excited for? Thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys later.